Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome to day 21, day 21, as we are journeying through, reading through the Holy Bible in 90 days. Today, we will be reading Joshua chapters 14 through 24 again. Joshua chapter 14 through chapter 24. All right, let's begin. Joshua chapter 14. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and a half tribe on the other side of Jordan. But unto the Levites, he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore, they gave no part unto the Levites in land, save cities to dwell in with their suburbs for their cattle and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephuni, the Kenizzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakins were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so, be the Lord will be with me. Then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb, the son of Jephini, Hebron, for an inheritance. Hebron, therefore, became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephini, the Kenizzite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel and the name of Hebron before was Kerjah Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Joshua chapter 15. This then was a lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin. Southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side, to Malia Krabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be a south coast. And the east border was a salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Hagla and passed along by the north of Beth Arba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Acre. And so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Adam, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed towards the waters of Inanishmesh 
and the goings out thereof were at Enrogo. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Napata and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border was drawn to Balal, which is Kerjazir Z. And the border compassed from Baal westward unto Mount Seir and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerem, which is Chesalon on the north side, and went down to Beth Sheshmesh and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out onto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Sikron and passed along to Mount Balal and went out unto Jabneel. And the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about according to their families. And unto Caleb, the son of Jephuni, he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Sheshai, and Ahaman, and Talma, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Karajah Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Karajah Sefer, and taketh it to him, will I give Ashas my daughter to wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Ashkaz, his daughter to wife, and it came to pass as she came unto him that she moved him to ask of a father of field and she lighted off her ass and Caleb said unto her what wouldest thou who answered give me a blessing for thou hast given me a south land give me also springs of water and he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs this is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families and the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Kabzel and Eder and Jagger and Kina and Demona and Abadah and Kadesh and Hazor and Ithnan, Ziph and Telem and Beloth and Hazar, Hadatah and Heroth and Hezron, which is Hazar, Amam and Shema and Moladah and Hazar Gadi and Heshmon and Beth Paral and Hazar Shuol and Beersheba and Biz Bizjalgaja, Bala and Lim and Azam and Eltada and Keshil and Horma and Ziglag and Madmana and San Sana and Lebioth and Shilhim and Ain and Rimon. All the cities were twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley, Eshetol and Zori and Ashna and Zanuo and Enganam, Tapapu and Enam, Jarmuth and Adolam, Soko and Azka and Sarayam and Erithayam and Gedera and Gederatham, 14 cities with their villages, Zenan and Hadasha and Migdal God and Dillian and Mizfa and Gostiel and Lashishish and Bozkoth and Eglon and Kaban and Lamam and Kidlish and Gideroth, the Beth of the Gan and Nama and Makada. Sixteen cities were their villages Libnon, Ether, and Ashen, and Zipton, Ashna, and Nizib, and Kiala, and Ashzib and Mersha, nine cities were their villages. Ekron with their towns and their villages from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod with her towns and her villages. Gaza with her towns and her villages unto the river of Egypt and the great sea and the border thereof. And in the mountains, Shamir and Jatir and Saka and Dana and Karajasana, which is Debir, and Anab and Eshtema and Anam and Goshen and Holon and Gilo, 11 cities with their villages, Arab and Duma and Eshean and Janun and Beth Tapua and Apaka and Hum. And Karjarba, which is Hebron and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Mayon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Judah, and Jezreel, and Jokdiam, and Zenoiah, Kain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages, Halhu, Beth Zur, and Gidor, and Marath, and Beth Anath, and Etkan, six cities with their villages, Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath. 
Jerim and Raba, two cities with their villages in the wilderness, Beth Arba, Midin, and Sekaka, and Nibshan in the city of Salt, and En Gedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Z Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. <laughs> Joshua chapter 16. <laughs> and the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho unto the water of Jericho on the east to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel and goeth out from Bethel to Luz and passeth along unto the borders of Archie to Adaroth and goeth down westward to the coast of Jap. Japlati, unto the coast of Beth Haran, the nether, and to Gezir, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. And the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus, even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Adaroth Adder, unto Beth, Beth Haran, the upper, and the border went out toward the sea to Meshmetah on the north side and the border went about eastward unto Tan and Shiloh and passed by it on the east to Janaha and it went down from Janaha to Adaroth and to Naroth and came to Jericho and went out at Jordan the border went out from Tapua westward unto the river Cana and the goings out there were therefore were at the sea this is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezir, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites until this day and serve under tribute. Joshua chapter 17. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit for Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war. Therefore, he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abizar and for the children of Helek and for the children of Azrael and for the children of Shashim and for the children of Hefer. And for the children of Shemira, these were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Mashir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons but daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala and Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terzah. And they came near before Eleazar the priest and before Joshua the son of Nun and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions of Manasseh beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side of Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's son had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Mikmathah, that life before Shishim, and the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants in Tapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim, and the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had an, in Issachar, and in Asher, Beth Shein, and her towns, and Ibleam and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanakh and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megadu and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass when the children of Israel were waxen strong that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto? 
And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Beth Shean and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to the Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people and his great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outings of it shall be thine, for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Joshua chapter 18. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there. And the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers have given you give out from among you three men for each tribe and I will send them and they shall rise and go through the land and describe it according to the inheritance of them and they shall come again to me and they shall divide into seven parts Judah shall abide in their coast on the south and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coast on the north ye should therefore describe the land in the seven parts and bring the description hither to me that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God but the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan on the east, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. And the men arose and went away, and Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land and describe it, and come again to me, that I may he hear cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land and described it by cities into seven parts in a book and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord and there Joshua divided the land to the children of Israel according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families and the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border on the north side was from Jordan and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side and went up through the mountains westward and goings out there were at the wilderness of Beth of Aim. And the border went over from thence toward Luz, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward. And the border descended to Adaroth, Adder, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether, Beth Haran. And the border was drawn thence and compassed the corner of the sea southward from the hill that lieth before Beth Haran, southward. And the goings out thereof were at Kerjah Baal, which is Kerjah's Jerusalem, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west quarter. And the south quarter was from the end of Kerajah's Jerusalem, and the border went out on the west and went out to the well of waters of Naphtoa. And the border came down to the end of the mountain that lied before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and, which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom to the side of Jepsu on the south, and descended to Enrogal, and was drawn from the north, and went forth to En Shemesh, and went forth toward Gileah which is over against the goings of Adonim and descended to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben and passed along toward the side over against Arba northward and went down unto Arba. And the border passed along the side of Beth Hagala northward and the outings of the border were at the north bay of the salt sea at the south end of Jordan. This was the south coast and Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was inherited to the children of Benjamin by the coast thereof round about according to their families. Now, the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, Beth Hagla, the Valley of Kaziz, and Beth Arba, and Zemarim, and Bethel, and Azim, and Para, and Ufra, and Shefer, Hayamoniah, and Ofna, and Gaba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, and Ramah, and Beroth, and Mespha, and Shephra and Moza and Rekim and Irpil and Tarla and Zila, Eleph and Jubusi 
which is Jerusalem, Gebeath, and Karja, 14 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Joshua chapter 19. And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. And their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beersheba and Sheba and Moladah and Hazrashul and Bala and Azim and Eltalad and Bethul and Hormah and Ziglag and Bethel Markaboth and Hazrasusa and Bethel Abayoth and Sherahan, 13 cities and their villages. And Ramon and Ether and Ashen, four cities and their villages, all the villages that were around about these cities, to Bethel Beer, Ramah of the South. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was inheritance of the children of Simeon. For the part of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore, the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun, according to their families, and the board of their inheritance was unto Syriad, and their border went up toward the sea, and Merlon reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jokneam, and turned from Syriad eastward toward the sun rising unto the border of Shiloh Tabor, and then goeth out to Dabarath, and goeth up to Japhia. And from thence passes on along on the east to Jitter Hefer to Ida Kazin and goeth out to Remen Meteor to Nia. And the border compasses it on the north side to Hananoth. And the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jiptheel and Kata and Nahala and Shimron and Adalah and Bethlehem. Twelve cities within their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun, according to their families, these cities with their villages. And the fourth lot came out to Issachar, for the children of Issachar, according to their families. And their border was towards Jezreel and Shelath and Shunem and Hafram and Shehan and Anaharath and Rabiath and Sh Kishion, and Abiz, and Remeth, and Enganin, and Enhara, and Beth Paziz, and the coast reaches to Tabor, and Shahazamia, and Beth Shemesh, and the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, 16 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of children of Issachar, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher according to their families. And their border was Helkoth and Hali and Betin and Ashfa and Alam Alamalek and Ahmed and Mishael and reach it to Carmel Westward and to Shehor, Libnoth and turn toward the sunrise and to Beth Dagon and reach it to Zebulon and to the valley of Jibdaliel toward the north side of Bethamek and Niel and goeth out to Kabul on the left hand and Hebron and Nehob and Hamon and Cana, even unto Great Zidium. And then the coast turned it to Ramah and to the strong city Tyre. And the coast turned it to Hosa and the outgoings thereof at the sea from the coast to Ashbin. Uma also in Afik and Rehob, 20 and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the child of the children of Asher, according to their families. These cities with their villages. Now, six lot came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali, according to their families. And their coast was from Hela, from Alon, to Zananim, and Adamai, Nikib, and Javnil, unto Lakum. And the outings thereof were at Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to Asnatabor, and goeth out from thence to Hakuk, and reacheth to Zebulon on the south side, and reaches to Asher on the west side, and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sun rising. And the fence Cities are Zidim and Zir, Hamath, Rakath, and Shinareth, and Adama, and Rama, and Hazor, and Kadesh, and Edri, and Anhazor, and Arn, and Migdalel, Horem, and Bethanoth, and Beth Shishmesh. Nineteen cities are their villages. This is the heritage of child children of Tali, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the seven lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families. And the coast of their inheritance was Zorah and Eshtiol and Arashemesh and Shalabim and Ajalon and Jethlah and Elon and 
Thimanatha and Ekron and Eltka and Gibbethoth and Baleth and Jehud and Beni Barak and Gothrimon and Mejorakon and Rakon with a border before Japhul. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little form. Therefore, the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem and took it and smote it with the edge of the sword and possessed it and dwelt therein and called Leshem Dan after the name of Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing the land for inheritance by their coast, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua, the son of Nun, among them. According to the word of the Lord, they gave him the city which he asked, even Timnath, Sarah, in Mount Ephraim, and he built the city and dwelt there in. These are the inheritance which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel divided for an inheritance by lot in Shiloh before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they made an end of dividing the country. Joshua chapter 20. <laughs> The Lord also spake unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge. Wherefore I spake unto you by the hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwilling may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And we that doth flee into one of those cities shall stand at the inner of the gate of the city and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city. They shall take him into the city and to them and give him a place that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand because he smote his neighbor unwittingly and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city until he stand before the congregation for judgment until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. Then shall the slayer return and come into his own city and into his own house and into the city from whence he fled. And they appointed Kadesh and Galilee and Mount Naphtali and Sheshem and Mount Ephraim and Kerajoth Arba, which is Hebron, in the Mount of, of Judah. And on the other side, Jordan by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezir in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben and Ramoth and Gilead out of the tribe of Gad and Golan and Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel and for the stranger that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at unaware might flee thither and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood until he stood before the congregation. Joshua chapter 21. Then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites and to Eleazar the priest and unto Joshua the son of Nun and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spake unto them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in with the suburbs thereof of our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance at the commandment of the Lord these cities and their suburbs. And the lot came out of the families of the Kohathites and the children of Aaron the priests, which were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah and out of the tribe of Simeon and out of the tribe of Benjamin, 13 cities. And the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim and out of the tribe of Dan and out of half tribe of Manasseh, 10 cities. And the children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Issachar and out of the tribe of Asher and out of the tribe of Naphtali and out of the half tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, 13 cities. The children of Mirar by their families had out of the tribe of Reuben and out of the tribe of Gad and out of the tribe of Zebulon, 12 cities. And the children of Israel gave by lot unto the Levites these cities, which with their suburbs, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. And they gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah, out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, these cities which are here mentioned by name, which the children of Aaron, being of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, had for theirs was the first lot. And they gave them the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron in the hill of the country of Judah with the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof gave they to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for his possession. 
Thus they gave to the children Aaron the priest Hebron with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna with her suburbs, and Jatir with her suburbs, and Ashtamoa with her suburbs, and Halon with her suburbs, and Debir with her suburbs, and Ayan with her suburbs, and Jata with her suburbs, and Beth Shishmesh with her suburbs, nine cities out of those two tribes, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with her suburbs, Geba with her suburbs, Anathal with her suburbs, and Alman with her suburbs. Suburbs for cities, all the cities of the children of Aaron the priest were 13 cities with their suburbs. And the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites, which remained of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim, for they gave them Sheshan with her suburbs and Mount Ephraim to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with their suburbs, and Kibzayam with her suburbs, and Beth Horan with her suburbs for cities, and out of the tribe of Dan, Eltaka with her suburbs, Gibbetha with her suburbs, Aijalon with her suburbs, Gathramon with her suburbs for cities. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh with their suburbs, and Gathramon with their suburbs, two cities. All the cities were ten with their suburbs for the families of the children of Kohath, they remain. And unto the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, out of the other half tribe of the Manasseh, they gave Golan and Bashan with their suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Beshrath with her suburbs, two cities. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with her suburbs, Dabaray with her suburbs, Dramath with her suburbs, Inganim with her suburbs, four cities. Out of the tribe of Asher, Mishael with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Helkath with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh and Galilee with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamathdor with her suburbs, and Karta with her suburbs, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were 13 cities with their suburbs. And unto the families of the children of Merer, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulon, Jokanim with their suburbs, and Harta with their suburbs, Dimna with their suburbs, Mahalalal with her suburbs for cities, and out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezir with her suburbs, and Jehazai with her suburbs, Kedamoth with her suburbs, and Mahath with her suburbs for cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the Slayah. And Mahaniyam with the suburbs, Heshbon with the suburbs, Jazzi with the suburbs for cities and all. So all the cities for the children of by their families, which were remaining of the families of the Levites, were by their lot, 12 cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were 40 and eight cities with their suburbs. These cities were every one with their suburbs round about them. Thus were all these cities. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he swore unto their fathers, and there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. There fell not out of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel all came to pass. Joshua chapter 22. Then Joshua called the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half tribe of Manasseh and said unto them, you've kept all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you and have obeyed my voice and all that I commanded you. Ye have not left your brother in these many days unto this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord your God. And now the Lord your God has given rest unto your brethren as he promised them. Therefore now return ye and get you unto your tents and unto the land of your possession, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side, Jordan. But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, charged you to love the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and to cleave unto him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away and they went unto their tents. 
Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given possession in Bashan, but unto the other half thereof gave Joshua among their brethren on the side Jordan westward. And when Joshua sent them away also unto their tents, then he blessed them and he spake unto them saying, return with much riches unto your tents and with very much cattle, with silver, and with gold, and with brass, and with iron, with very much raiment. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half tribe of Manasseh returned and departed from the children of Israel out of Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go unto the country of Gilead, to the land of their possession, whereof they were possessed, according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And when they came into the borders of Jordan that are in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by Jordan, a great altar to see to. And the children of Israel heard say, Behold, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half tribe of Manasseh have built an altar over against the land of Canaan in the borders of Jordan at the passage of the children of Israel. And the children of Israel heard of the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered themselves together at Shiloh to go up to war against them. And the children of Israel sent unto the children of Reuben and to the children of Gad and to the half tribe of Manasseh and to the land of Gilead Phineas, the son of Eleazar the priest, and with him ten princes of each chief house of prince throughout all the tribes of Israel, and each one was the head of the house of their fathers among the thousands of Israel. And they came unto the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad, to the half tribe of Manasseh, and to the land of Gilead, and they spake with him, saying, Thus said the whole congregation of the Lord, What trespass is this? that ye have committed against the God of Israel to turn away this day from following the Lord in that ye have builded you an altar that ye might rebel this day against the Lord. Is the iniquity of PR too little for us from which we are not cleansed until this day, although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord, but that ye must turn away this day from following the Lord? And it will be seeing you rebel today against the Lord that tomorrow he will be work, he will be wroth with the whole congregation of Israel. Notwithstanding it, if the land of your possession be unclean, then pass ye over into the land of the, of the possession of the Lord, wherein the Lord's tabernacle dwelleth, and take possession among us. But rebel not against the Lord, nor rebel against us, in building you an altar beside the altar of the Lord our God. Did not Ashen the son of Zerah commit a trespass and the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel? And that man perished, not alone in his iniquity? Then the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half tribe of Manasseh answered and said unto the heads of the thousands of Israel, the Lord God of gods, the Lord God of gods, he knoweth and Israel, he shall know if it be in rebellion or if in transgression against the Lord, save us not this day that we have built us an altar to turn from following the Lord or if to offer thereon burnt offering or meat offering or if to offer peace offerings thereon, let the Lord himself require it. And we, and if we have not rather done it for fear of this thing saying in time to come, your children might speak unto our children saying, what have ye to do with the Lord God of Israel? For the Lord hath made Jordan a border between us and you, ye children of Reuben and children of Gad, ye have no part in the Lord. So shall your children make our children cease from fear in the Lord. Therefore we said, let us now prepare to build us an altar, not for burnt offering nor for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness between us and you and our generations after us that we might do the service of the Lord before him with our burnt offering and with our sacrifice and with our peace offerings that your children may not say to our children in time to come, even no part in the Lord. Therefore said we that it shall be when they should so say to us or to our generations in time to come that we may say again, behold the pattern of the altar of the Lord, which our fathers made, not for burnt offerings or for sacrifice, but it is a witness between us and you. God forbid that we should rebel against the Lord and turn this day from following the Lord to build an off altar for burnt offerings, for meat offerings, or for sacrifices beside the altar of the Lord our God that is before his tabernacle. And when Phineas the priest and the prince of the congregation, the heads of the thousands of Israel, which were with him, heard the words of the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the children of Manasseh spake, it pleased them. And Phineas the son of Eleazar the priest said unto the children of Reuben and to the children of Gad and to the children of Manasseh, this day we perceive that the Lord is among us because ye have not committed this trespass against the Lord. Now ye have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Lord. And Phineas the son of Eleazar, the priest and the princes returned from the children of Reuben and the children of Gad out of the land of Gilead unto the land of Canaan to the children of Israel and brought them word again. 
and the thing pleased the children of Israel. And the children of Israel blessed God and did not intend to go up against them in battle to destroy the land where the children of Reuben and Gad dwell. And the children of Reuben and the children of Gad called the altar Ed, for it shall be a witness between us that the Lord is God. Joshua chapter 23. And it came to pass a long time after that the Lord had given rest unto Israel from all their enemies round about that Joshua waxed old and stricken in age. And Joshua called for all Israel and for their elders and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age. And ye've seen all that the Lord your God hath done unto all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he that hath fought for you. Behold, I have divided unto you by lot these nations that remain to be inheritance for your tribes from Jordan with all the nations that I've cut off even unto the great sea westward. And the Lord your God, he shall expel them from before you and drive them from out of your sight and ye shall possess their land as the Lord your God hath promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left, that ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your God as ye have done unto this day. For the Lord had driven out from before you great nations and strong, but as for you, no man has been able to stand before you unto this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand for the Lord your God. He it is that fighteth for you as he had promised. Take good heed therefore unto yourselves that ye love the Lord your God. Else if ye do in any wise go back and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, even these that remain among you and shall make marriages with them and go in unto them and they to you, know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps unto you and scourges in your sides and thorns in your eyes until you perish from off this good land, which the Lord your God has given you. And behold this day, I'm going the way of all the earth and ye know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing is failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spake concerning you all are come to pass unto you and not one thing hath fell thereof therefore it shall come to pass that as all good things are come upon you which the Lord your God promised you so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things that have destroyed you from off this good land which the Lord your God has given you when ye have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods, and bowed yourselves to them, then shall the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and ye shall perish quickly from off the good land which he hath given unto you. Joshua chapter 24. And Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and called for the elders of Israel and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers. And they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said unto all the people, thus says the Lord God of Israel, your fathers dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time, even Terah, the father of Abraham and the father of Nacor. And they served other gods. And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood and led him throughout all the land of Canaan and multiplied his seed and gave him Isaac. And I I gave unto Isaac, Jacob, and Esau, and I gave unto Esau Mount Seir to possess it. But Jacob and his children went down into Egypt. I sent Moses also and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt according to that which I did among them. And afterward, I brought you out. And I brought your fathers out of Egypt and ye came into the sea and the Egyptian pursued after your fathers with chariots and horsemen into the Red Sea. And when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians and brought the sea upon them and covered them. And your eyes have seen what I've done in Egypt and ye dwelt in the wilderness a long season. And I brought you into the land of the Amorites, which dwelt on the other side, Jordan, and they fought with you. And I gave them into your hand that ye might possess their land. And I destroyed them from before you. 
Then Balak, the son of Ziphor, king of Moab, arose and warred against Israel and sinned and called Balaam, the son of Beor, to curse you. But I will not hearken unto Balaam. Therefore, he blessed you still. So I delivered you out of his hand. And you went over Jordan and came into Jericho and the men of Jericho fought against you. The Amorites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. And I delivered them into your hand. And I set the hornet before you, which drave them out from before you, even the two kings of the Amorites, but not with thy sword, nor with thy bow. And I've given you a land for which ye did not labor and cities, which ye built not. And ye dwell in them of the vineyards and olive yards, which ye planted not, do ye eat? And therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers serve on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers serve that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods for the Lord, our God. He, it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage and which did those great signs in our sight and preserved us in all the way wherein we went and among all the people through whom we passed. And the Lord drave out from before us all the people, even the Amorites, which was in the land. Therefore, will we also serve the Lord for he is our God. And Joshua said unto the people, ye cannot serve the Lord for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve strange gods and he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that, he has done you good. And the people said unto Joshua, nay, but we will serve the Lord. And Joshua said unto the people, ye are witnesses against yourselves that ye have chosen you the Lord to serve him. And they said, we are witnesses. Now, therefore, put away, said he, the strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel. And the people said unto Joshua, The Lord our God will we serve, and his voice will we obey. And Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and set them a statue and an ordinance in Shishem. And Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God, and took a great stone and set it up there under an oak. That was by the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said unto all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness unto us, for it hath heard all the words of the Lord, which he spake unto us. It shall be therefore a witness unto you, lest ye deny your God. So Joshua let the people depart, every man unto his inheritance. And it came to pass after these things that Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Tim Nasserah, which is in Mount Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gosh. And Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that overlived Joshua and which had known all the works of the Lord that he had done for Israel. And the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought up out of Egypt, buried they in Shishim in a parcel of ground, which Jacob bought of the sons of Hamor, the son of Shishim, for a hundred pieces of silver. And it became the inheritance of the children of Joseph. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron, died. And they buried him in a hill that pertained to Phinehas, his son, which was given him in Mount Ephraim. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Until next time, beloves, stay blessed.